For years I've been making monsters to pay the bills. Now I'm doing it for fun. I'm Tom Devlin, and this is my Monster Garage. Hey guys, welcome back to My Monster Garage. I'm Tom Devlin. Today, I want to talk about one of my favorite assistants I ever had. Uh, she was my protege, my friend, at one time a roommate. She's gone to the end of the country and back for me and has helped out a ton. I'm talking about Andrea Wiersma. She has a Instagram is little underscore squid or Andrea Wiersma on Facebook. You guys should check her out. Look at her work. She's an amazing artist. She started with me years ago. I've put her through just about any situation a makeup effects artist can get stuck in and she's always come out with a smile on her face and usually a small inside joke. Andrea and I went to Mississippi where we worked on this awesome feature called Big Bad. It was a uh, full creature suit. We shot there maybe half a month or so, maybe a little bit longer. It was an incredible time. Uh, we made a really great movie. I'll put a link to the trailer in the description here. But this is a bust I created from that creature. I'm going to do a slight makeover in honor of Andrea's big release today. She had the opportunity to be a part of the team over at uh, Stan Winston's Legacy Effects, where she worked on X-Men Apocalypse. In her honor, I'm going to create an X-Men character out of this character that we had made for Big Bad. So here you can see we got a little bit of rot on the face and I'm gonna have to take care of that. And in order to turn it into Beast, we're going to need to change its nose. Beast had a human nose. So what I'm gonna do here is I have a piece of skin out of a Wishmaster mold that I made years ago and I'm going to just graft that onto his face. I'm going to attach it with some 77 spray and it fits pretty good. So here we go, we're gonna add a little bit of cotton and latex to blend the edge and fill in some of the holes in this old foam latex piece. All right, there we go, it's looking good. Um, now we gotta take care of the color. Uh, I'm going to just spray paint the hair white so I can uh, later airbrush it blue. So I'll just hit it with some spray paint. Now that it's all whited out, I'm gonna go in with my airbrush. I'm just throwing in some DNA color system. We will start basing the face out. I'm just gonna throw the blue in the hair. I'm gonna do my normal, uh, throw down the dark, dark shadows first and then I'll come in and do a little bit of dry brush. Being that Beast is blue, I'm gonna do a couple layers so I get several different tones of blue. I don't want to uh, just make him look like a blueberry. I'm really a fan of the uh, early X-Men comics from the 90s, and I like the solid white eyes, so I'm just gonna do solid white eyes, and I'm gonna do the little nubs of the teeth that show uh, a lot of times. So what I'm gonna do here for the teeth is I'm going to use a thermal plastic. This is a little tiny plastic ball, so you just heat them up in boiling water and as soon as they turn clear you can mold them with your fingertips so just scoop it out there we go we'll just mold them up and make some pointy teeth I'm gonna use Zappa Gap which is a strong super glue to glue the teeth and the lip in place just so it doesn't move around on me I don't want to give him the Wolverine hair I kinda like the Kelsey Grammer style hair so we're gonna leave that and there we got the teeth popped in and that is our beast hey guys thanks for watching this episode of my monster garage x-men edition i made a beast we had a blast if you liked it hit like subscribe share it with your friends have a great one see you next week